Let's talk us through this. How did they not realise that you were still there upstairs in the bookshop? <laughs> I don't know. That's a great question. I walked into the store about five minutes before 9 p.m. Um, I did not realize what time they closed. So our first reaction was obviously to unlock David Willis from the Trafalgar Square store and let him out. We recognised that it was an opportunity really, really quickly from just a response on Twitter. The story really blew up. Everything was very, very positive and there seemed to be an overriding um, number of people up saying what a dream it would be to be locked in a bookshop overnight and how they would love for the same experience. The contact came through Twitter and we, we posted a tweet to their handle saying, also, would you like to do something to give this opportunity to people in a more controlled or comfortable environment than what happened to, uh, to that gentleman? Airbnb getting in touch was really quite serendipitous. Um, it allowed us to partner up um, and to organise the whole thing within a week, get it turned around really, really quickly, because obviously um, it was an opportunity and we didn't want the, the, kind of the message to be lost. So things kicked off at 9pm, a twilight tour of the shop, obviously with six floors and eight miles of bookshelves to explore. There's a, there's a fair amount to get stuck into. We had guests, uh, Detective Hercule Poirot and Butler Jeeves joined the tour and got involved with some readings as well. I mean, everyone knows that these characters come to life at night when the shop's closed anyway. There's many cases in history of the story starting through Twitter and then it becomes, it goes out to a wider traditional media space and this is no different in that you know, it's at heart, it's a great piece of, it's a great story, it's a great piece of content and however that starts, that's what people are interested to talk about, journalists are interested to write about, and media are interested to, to cover. Not only um, was there the conversation uh, during the event um, and during the incident, but it continued well after it, uh, well into the week of the actual sleepover itself. Um, and we had every major news outlet, every newspaper looking to provide coverage on the story. So, I mean, it was just incalculable for us.